Martin wakes up locked in a basement. The man has no idea how he got there, probably through a hatch in the ceiling. There are three doors leading out of the room. Behind the first one, there's a deep pit with metal spikes at the bottom. The second door leads to a lake with hungry piranhas. And behind the third door, there are crocodiles. But the worst thing is that the room is starting to fill with water. You need to help Martin, and fast. So write in the comments what the poor guy should do to save his life. Martin should open the first door. The pit will begin to fill up with water, and eventually the guy will be able to swim over the spikes. We've got one more person, Elisa, trapped in a room that's being filled with water, coming from a tap in the wall. There are no windows in the room, and the door is blocked. Elisa only has a mop and a big bucket. If you know how to save her life, comment below. It's actually not so dangerous. Alisa just needs to turn off the tap. Nick was sailing around the world on his yacht when he got caught in a terrible storm. At one point, he hit his head against the mast and lost consciousness. When he came round, he found himself on the beach, surrounded by unfriendly-looking locals who definitely didn't like foreigners. They offered Nick three options, sending him to a cave filled with tarantulas, throwing him into a pit filled with yellow scorpions, or taking him to meet several hungry lions. If you don't write in the comments which option the guy should choose, it might end badly for him. Nick should opt for the tarantulas, since they're mostly harmless to people. Look at this volcano. It's about to erupt. Unfortunately, Lauren has just one seat in her sports car. But there are three people who want to get as far away from the volcano as possible. Who should the girl save? A young, handsome guy? A rich woman? Or a granny? While the guy and the woman are young and can move fast, capable of running away, the elderly lady won't make it. Lauren should give her a lift, but if you disagree, write your opinion in the comments. Look at these teachers. One of them is a vampire. You need to react fast to save their students from untimely demise. The teacher on the left has some tan lines, but vampires are afraid of sunlight. The one on the right has a cast on her leg. He's unlikely to be a vampire, but the one in the middle has all her body covered. She's even wearing gloves. She must be the vampire we're looking for since she's afraid of sun rays touching her skin. Melanie invited her colleague Maria for dinner. Maria was surprised since she thought Melanie didn't like her. But Melanie prepared a very nice meal. She cut the fish in half, and each of the women ate their portions. Sometime later, Maria paled and lost consciousness. She was taken to a hospital. It was bad food poisoning. Several days later, police arrested Melanie for trying to poison Maria. Write in the comments how she managed to do it. After all, the women ate the same dishes. The poison was on one side of the knife Melanie used to cut the fish. This way, only the piece of tuna she gave Maria was poisoned. Look at this picture very attentively. One of these people has just stolen a penguin. If you can figure out who the thief is, write got it in the comments.
the first man has obviously come to feed the penguins. The lady is really pregnant. As for the young guy, he has a heavy backpack, which is leaking. The penguin must be inside. Look at these people. One of the women isn't a real wife. If you can answer correctly in the comments which one it is, you're a true detective. Both of these women have rings, but the blonde lady knows the exact size of her husband's briefcase, so the lunch she's prepared will definitely fit in. As for the second woman, she must be his sister. They have identical birthmarks. Four friends went out for lunch. They ate the same food, but two of them got food poisoning. Why are the rest fine? Switch on that inner detective of yours and write your answer in the comments below. Those two who were fine after the meal didn't drink coffee. The drinks were poisoned, not the food. These ladies went to enjoy some ice cream together, but after that, one of them got sick. Can you tell us why? The woman who later got sick had berries on top of her ice cream. The other ladies ate ice cream with cinnamon. Michelle was about to leave her office when she received a message from the building security that a dangerous criminal had sneaked inside. The woman needed to get out of there as soon as possible. She was running towards the elevators when both of them simultaneously opened their doors. Inside, there were suspicious looking guys. Which elevator would you opt for? Share in the comments. Michelle decided to run to the second elevator. The criminal had just entered the building, so he wouldn't be coming from upstairs. Criminals kidnapped three bank workers to get secret financial information from them. The bankers were locked in a basement with only one window high above the floor. The men decided that at least one of them had to escape and warn the police. The men stood on each other's shoulders but the one on top still couldn't reach the window. Do you have a solution to this problem you could share with us? The tallest of the bankers should climb on top. This man most likely has the longest arms, so he will be able to manage to reach the window. Luke took part in a scientific experiment but something went wrong, and he ended up in a place where there was nothing but three portals. One of them led to a polar desert in Antarctica. The second one opened into a volcanic crater filled with molten lava. And behind the third portal, there was the dinosaur age with huge diplodocuses roaming around. Which portal would you jump through? Tell us in the comments. Luke would instantly freeze in a polar desert. Molten lava isn't even an option. But diplodocuses are totally harmless to people. They only eat plants. Once, a prison guard accidentally overheard very disturbing rumors. One of the most dangerous criminals was planning a prison break. The guard watched the footage from the surveillance cameras and discovered that two women had been behaving suspiciously. One of them was a former bodybuilder, muscular, with short hair and covered in tattoos. The other was quiet and reserved. She preferred to spend time on her own. After watching the video several times, the guard managed to figure out which woman was planning to escape. Are you as attentive as the guard? Prove it by writing your version in the comments. The second prisoner is planning an escape. If you look attentively, 
you'll notice a file in her hair bun. She can use it to get through the metal bars. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.